Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to check out the Scorpion HD. It is a Runcam Split Mini 2 setup with 1080p, 2 to 3s battery, and 100 milliwatt VTX. It has an 80 millimeter wheelbase on here from side to side, prop guards all the way around, whoop style, 1103 11,000 kV motors, super hopped up with 4 bolts on the bottom. It really smokes on 3s, I like it, but the Runcam Split Mini 2 is good on here. Um, there is some jello, I'm going to show you that a little bit coming up, but it has plenty of camera protection. I did test that out. No solder plug and play motors for you guys that aren't super good at soldering. If you blow out a motor, you can replace it easily. 1636 GemFam quad props are on here, 1.5 millimeter shaft. Make sure you order those. F405 flight controller with Betaflight OSD, 12 amp BL Heli ESCs. So you can run up to 3S. 25 to 100 milliwatt VTX on the dipole did pretty good out in the field. I didn't have a lot of problem with that. Got my XM Plus underneath this canopy. My antenna's out the back and my XT30 right there. And we have a four bolt top plate release, which I like. Super easy to get to the stack and work on. This is not a hard quad to work on. You're gonna use a U3 class micro SD card and that slot is just right there. And the cool thing is I can get it in and out of there with my fingers. I don't have to use tweezers right there. We're gonna use a 3S 300 milliamp battery up to about a 450. Let's go ahead and get a dry weight without the battery, 54.5 grams, super lightweight, very lightweight whoop. And 81.2 grams total takeoff weight, so under 100 grams. And you get this extra battery holder as well if you choose not to use the strap. But I like the strap because it'll hold up to about a 450 milliamp battery. So let's go ahead and take it out for the flight test. And let me show you honestly what the video looks like. No special effects, no extra dampening, nothing in post to smooth out this video, no real steady or anything like that. So uh, this is the raw footage that you can see. And right away on the 2S battery, I do see a lot of vibrations in the video. I see some jello, I see some stuttering. But one thing that I have to report back in this review is the fact that it flies really well. It flies decent on a 2S battery. So if you're brand new to FPV, this would be a durable little quad. And it would be something that would kind of get you into the hobby very easily. Uh, and you could fly this indoors or outdoors. You can fly it with a little bit of wind. You can fly it on the days when it's totally calm and you're going to get better video. It's going to have a little less vibrations, but the F4 flight controller feels really locked in. The tune feels good. And what we're always up against here with these type of quads is vibrations from the power system on the airframe that they have chosen to put the Split Mini 2 on and how that translates to the video, the jello, the vibrations. And it's not perfect. I'm going to be honest. You can see it plainly with your eyes that it's not perfect video, but I have to say that the fun factor of flying this quad and not dealing with a 4K camera is lately kind of kind of good for me because I've been dealing with the Cadex Tarsier for several months now since it came out and the Runcam Split Mini 2 for me was just always super easy to deal with and I, I think that's the that's going to keep the fun factor higher for most people especially starting out you don't have to deal with a lot of settings and changes and things to get started. The Cadex takes a little bit of tinkering to get your 4K right. And even still with the 4K quads, we have issues with Jello. Not all of them are perfect. But on the 3S battery, when you increase the RPM on this quad, the Jello is reduced greatly. And for me, for a more advanced pilot, on the 3S battery, I have the right amount of power here on those 1103 motors. With the weight of the quad, power system seems to work out better for the punch outs and holding my lines better it seems to hold a really good line going straight ahead the super rates were set to about eight zero and that will have a nice fairly a nice snappy feeling for the quad if you want to do some mild freestyle but again this is more like a cinema whoop this is not a freestyle quad so um, you're not really going to do a lot of flippy dippy stuff with this one but this is where this quad shines is, you know, putting an XM plus on here will get you a ton of range. It'll get you several football fields away. You could fly this thing down the street and the 100 milliwatt VTX did really well in my goggles. I didn't have any issues with breakup, loss of transmission, and I never fail safe out here in the schoolyard. So it really is kind of a cool little schoolyard flyer. 
So you have durability factor here, you have your fun factor with the HD camera. You can make videos all day long and have some fun and really at high speeds. I'm impressed. I haven't seen a lot of whoops with this kind of speed and lines. This thing really gets down in there close to the ground. It holds a nice straight line. I have plenty of control. Look at that, like less than a foot off the ground. So I think the, the flying factor is like the funnest thing about the GoFly Scorpion. And the video could be better. But let's go ahead now back to the studio. Let's give you an honest rating on this one. I'm going to rate this one right away at about a 3.9 out of 5 stars. Um, I think the frame is ultra durable. It feels really rigid in my hands. If I bend it right here just a little bit for you, you can see I have no problems with durability on this quad. It took a couple punches off the side of the playground equipment, a couple bangs, because it really is lightweight. Uh, under 100 grams, plenty of protection for the canopy up top. And I like that they used a strap on here instead of that battery cage. We've been getting away from the battery cage. Dual strut support on the bottom. So overall, it makes up a really nice, fast, and durable setup with these 1103s. And I like that they're push on props, not the bolt props. So guys that are just getting into it, you don't have to fiddle with a whole lot of stuff to fly this one. It's just one of those quads you can take out there and fly and enjoy. But thanks again for watching my honest reviews, guys. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one.